Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video will be solving practice problem 12.8 and this is on the request of a student. So let's see the question practice problem 12.8. Question states these parameters and we have to calculate these three uh, items. Now to understand the question actually, I need to redraw another circuit. Although he has given reference to this figure 12.2, but this is not very clear. So let me superimpose another circuit. So this is the uh, apparent representation of the circuit. Now let's see what all is given. Applied voltage 840 volt line, line means line to nine. So this line to line voltage is 8, 840 volt. Load 1 is Y connected with 30 plus J40. So this is load 1 Y connected and each arm has an impedance of 30 plus J40. Load 2 is a balanced three phase, a three phase motor drawing 48 kilowatts. So this is a three phase motor load 2 and it is drawing power 48 kilowatt and the power factor is 0 0.8 lagging. So with this information, now we'll calculate these three terms. So let's proceed. The first we have to find out the complex power absorbed by the combined load. So the complex power combined will be actually the power absorbed by load one and load two. And the power absorbed by load 1 is actually the 3 times the power absorbed by a single phase. So let's find the power of a single phase first of all. The complex power per phase is given by this formula. VP IP conjugate. Keep in mind it is conjugate and this is uh, given in equation 12.49. So let's find now VP. Now VP is the phase voltage from here to here. The line voltage is given. So we know that the phase voltage we can find by dividing the line voltage by under root 3. So 840 divided by under root 3 is 484.97 volt. And now we need to find the current A phase and current will be V over Z. So this voltage is known. We know the Z. So 484.97 divided by 30 plus J40 will get the answer 9.7 angle by minus 53. So let's use the calculator to show you. The calculator has to be in complex mode. You can do it by going to the mode 2 for complex. So select 2. Now we are in complex mode. Now we'll divide this. We'll select this division sign. 484.97, 484.97 divided by, we come down with this, 30 plus 40, J40, 30 plus 40I, for J we use I, go ahead and equal sign. Now this is in rectangular form, we have to convert it into polar, so we shift complex and we select 3 for r theta c and so the answer is 9.699 or 9.7 and angle is minus 53.1 uh, so this is the answer we'll get so now we have v phase and i phase so we'll get the phase power sp putting the value of V, putting the value of I. The only change we have to make because of the conjugate is that we change the sign. So it was minus, we'll make it plus. And again, by solving with the help of a calculator in complex mode, you can find this answer. So this is for one phase. So the total for three phase, S1, C into single phase. So this is the uh, complex power uh, consumed by load number one. Now let's go to the load number two. So we have found this.
Now for load two, we have to uh, adopt a different technique because these parameters are given, so we'll have to use this. And uh, this complex power can also be written in terms of P plus JQ, that is the real power plus imaginary power. Now the real power P is 48 kilowatt, always in kilowatts, 48 kilowatt is the real power. And if you see this power triangle, this is the real power and its unit is kilowatt. This is imaginary power, unit is KVR. And this is the complex power and also apparent power, its unit is KVA. So real power is uh, given. We have to find the imaginary power. So we, we have to adopt a technique now. First of all, from the real power, we have to find the apparent power. Okay, one more thing, power factor 0 0.8 means theta is cos inverse of 0 0.8, so the angle is 36.87. Now to calculate S2, we need to find Q. S2, we need to find Q. And Q can be written as S2 sine theta. So this Q is S2 sine theta. We need to find S2, which we can find from this relation. So for which we need S2, which can be found from S2 is equal to power 2 divided by power factor. Power 2 or the real power is 48 and power factor is 48. Therefore, S2 is 60 kVA. Remember that S2 multiplied by power factor is actually P2 or S2 multiplied by cos theta is P2 from here. This multiplied by cos of theta is the real axis and sine of theta is the imaginary axis. So S2 we have found. Now using this formula, Q2 is S2 sine theta. I'm putting the value of S2 sine, etc. So Q2 is 36 kVAR. So now that we have found uh, Q2, we'll put in this formula to find the complex power. So putting in the values, PN, so this is in the complex power S2 capital. And now we can find the total power S1 plus S2. This was uh, S1 we had calculated. And this is S2. So you can use your calculator in complex mode again to find this answer. Let me try to show you. Clear. 1, 4, point, 1, 1, 2, angle 53, shift angle 53.13 plus put a bracket 48 plus 36i bracket close and this is equal to 56.46 plus J47, so we get this term. And if you want to convert it into polar, again, you have to go from here to complex, like three. So the answer is 73.65, angle 39. Okay, so we have found the first part, which I, uh, now this is the total power, and from here we can find the power factor of this new total power, that is the uh, cos of the angle theta, which is 0 0.766 lagging. Now question number two, the KVR rating of each of the three capacitors connected in parallel with the load. So the capacitors uh, delta connected could be, uh, will look like this. You can find the reactive power needed to bring the power factor to 1 using equation this. Now we have to 
The question is says that you have to raise the power factor to unity, that means power factor to one. So for power factor one, or for any power factor change, we will use this formula, and this is given in your book. Okay, now the power factor, when we're saying unity, that means cos theta nu is unity. That means theta nu is cos inverse one, which is equal to zero. So this theta nu is zero, and this theta old we had already calculated, so we'll use that. From here, this was theta old, and this is our P. So we'll use these terms. P will use this. Theta old will use this angle, and theta new will use this angle, zero. Okay, so using the values, and we can get answer. Again, we'll take help of the calculator to clear. 56.47 bracket tangent where is tangent tangent of 39 39.97 minus tangent of 0 Sorry, we have to close this also. This angle. And we have to put another bracket. And close this bracket. Okay, now equal sign. So it is 47.33 KVR. So this is the answer. Now this is QC, so for each capacitor, we have to divide this by 3. This was the total KVR, dividing by 3, we get KVR of 1 capacitor. And now the last part, the current drawn from the supply at unity power factor conditions. The current drawn, this is the formula for uh, apparent power in terms of line voltage and line current under root 3 VL. So from here, I will be S divided by under root 3 VL. Now, at unity power factor, remember when unity power factor means angle is zero, that means this angle is zero. So this will come and lie over P. That means S is equal to P. So S is equal to P is equal to 56.47 kVA. So we'll use this value of SAR. And so current will be 38.81 ampere. And I think this is what we need to find. Thank you.